Hello YouTube, this is my queen Guy back with another video, back with another message. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for all of the support, all of the likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Everything is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. So it's somebody like trying to figure out like, dang, was I ever like, like, did I ever mean anything to this person? Like, your cutoff game is strong. Like, people really need to... They should have been checking your references. But see, the references that they was probably going to was telling them the opposite. Oh, I left this person alone. I ain't fucking with them. I ain't doing this. Your cutoff game is strong. <laughs> Six of Swords with the Temperance. Okay. You're going to go give your love somewhere else. Like, a lot of you are really about to be in an energy where you're going somewhere where you're celebrated and not tolerated. Like, people was like, oh, I'm just going to tolerate this person because I know A, B, C, and D going to happen if I... If I keep them around, but your cutoff game is strong, not theirs. Because they're in their head, they're in their feelings like, damn, did I ever mean anything to this person? Well, you ask that motherfucker. The same way you want somebody to feel about you is how you treated them. That was a lot. But the Empress came out. If you think back to how you was treating somebody, do you think that now they in this Empress energy? They're attracting somebody that's on their level? For some of you, you always like was higher than these people. And, and I want to say higher, like not that they sat below you, but I mean, shit, there is no upgrade after you. It's no upgrade after you. Damn, did this person ever really feel like that? The Empress, loving, nurturing, kind, you attract though. Some of you, you are not always in this energy. You had it in you. But you attract. Whether you were attracting narcissists, whether you were attracting people that were just jealous of you because you're the Empress here. Like I said, your cutoff game is strong. Let me get a prayer in. <laughs> Most high loving ancestors of my highest good, my highest light, my highest frequency. Please help me to channel these messages clear and concise with truth and clarity. Please block any and all negative interference during this message. Please return to center tenfold. Thank you. As I crack open the deck, the five of wands with the ten of swords. Damn, you got all that hate in your heart? This was somebody feel like you you now, like somebody feel like you in this energy now, like they feel like betrayed. Cause now they don't even know after all of this shit here. <laughs> Knight of Wands, Three of Cups. It's like, damn, did this person ever feel anything for me? Your cutoff game is too strong. It's too strong. Motherfuckers that betrayed you and shit now want to fight for you. Or, or, or some, for some of you, it's people that's taking up for you. I haven't seen the Seven of Wands, but it's like with people knowing who you are. Or just seeing you being this empress energy. It's like. Even though they did you fucking dirty. Like they not going to let somebody else do it. Take it how it resonates. I don't know if this person is doing this. To try to get like. Some kind of attention. Because like I said in the beginning. It's like this person is asking themselves. Like damn. Did this empress even have any feeling. Like the way you're not like. It's like you're you telling this motherfucker deal with that shit on your own. 
somebody was already in this energy and they in this energy more and you done upgraded you done leveled up the chariot again at the bottom of the day it's something about a video here somebody was trying to use against you Only to betray you. And this is another motherfucker or the same motherfucker that's asking like, damn, did this person ever have feelings for me? Did you, motherfucker? Like, people <laughs> like people don't be understanding that shit. Because the Empress, you, you know this motherfucker ain't had no feelings for you. Look, Five of Cups. They missed the opportunity here. They rejected the blessing. Magician, Will of Fortune, Judgment, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, your cutoff game is strong. Strong. And somebody is just a waiting. Damn, I hope I can get the opportunity again. Three of, three of swords with the three of wands. They gonna keep fucking waiting on that shit too. It's something about um uh horse and carriage with this chariot okay with this chariot i picked up horse and carriage nine of wands with the three of wands it's like damn i thought you was going to come back in you know i had to go through this and i had to go through that somebody somebody miss your fucking energy yo <laughs> somebody miss your energy You've blocked this person. Seven of Wands. They was waiting on you to come around to get them some kind of attention for something to happen. I don't know who the fuck this is. Somebody's being carried away. This could be DOA right here. Wait. Three of Cups, Ace of Swords with the Tower. Something wasn't on safety. Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, Page of Cups. Somebody took a, um, for some of you with this Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, Page of Cups with the Lovers. Somebody has something off of safety. It could have been a, um, a weapon here. Or somebody left it off safety. Somebody doesn't believe in protection. Or somebody is not protected. Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups. Like I said, this motherfucker asking himself now, like, damn. Did this person ever really care? Look at this. Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups. They seeing how that shit feel. Somebody got in bed with the wrong motherfucker. Something happened to this person. And it's like whoever they dealing with or whoever they thought that they upgraded with. Because <laughs> like I said, there is no upgrade after you. 
whoever they thought they upgraded with, it's like they done bought more shit, more drama to the door. Oh, wait. You not having that shit. Somebody, somebody got caught on video. The Ace of Cups came out in the reverse. Somebody got caught on video. If this was somebody that tried to like record you, um, like if y'all was dealing with each other, like this is somebody that could have used like a video for like some kind of revenge. This shit has come back. Somebody is on video doing something here. Or something was like heard on a video or something like that I picked up just like last week somebody it was like so technology is not as or technology was not as advanced as it is now but even like you know 20 30 maybe 40 years ago like there were video recorders out Where you had to hold that motherfucker in your hand, all that kind of shit. Now they just got the little microchips. There's something significant about that. Hierophant. King of Pentacles. Somebody was being watched. Somebody got a lot of complaints, y'all. Hierophant, Hermit, Five of Swords with the Eight of Swords. For some of you, with this Empress, Five of Wands, and this Ten of Swords, and then the Tower, Ace of Swords, Three of Cups, it's like whatever this is that somebody is trying to get you to feel bad for them, it's like, because the way it's laying, the Empress is over this shit. Like, that's above you now. That has nothing to do with you. You're celebrating. You're gaining more clarity too. It's something about vows. It was like somebody. Where somebody was trying to vow to get you to be in this ten of swords. Somebody was vowing to like always be truthful. Always be honest. Always celebrate you. Like I said, you're going where you're celebrated, not tolerated. And motherfuckers is hurt. They hurt. But you know, when you treat a motherfucker how they was treating, you was like, damn, did this person ever really care? Well, okay, the kid, ask yourself that. <laughs> Whoever this is had it out for you. They had it out for you. Ace of Cups. King of Swords here. It's a smear campaign going back in reverse. Ten of Swords to the Ace. That's nine. This, this is giving me copycat. Somebody was trying to copy you. The sun energy here. Somebody was looking for you too.
for some of you if this is a masculine energy <laughs> who's bitter with the three of swords at the bottom of the deck seven of cups here they are trying to it's like they're really trying to sit with the fact that they really have like caused a mess like somebody's really caused a mess it's something it's, listen this person is getting um, exposed for some of you you being this empress you have illuminated that somebody needs to heal this is somebody that said nah ain't nothing wrong with me yes it is this person could have experienced a, a, a childhood trauma that they don't even remember. But they so scared to look into themselves. It's like, damn, when you do it, they get this shit. Well, how ironic is that? Somebody was giving this energy to you when they was around you and you're going and they still in that fucking energy. It ain't you. You ain't the problem. You exposed that somebody needs to heal. It's something about like congestive heart failure or something like that. Three of Cups, Three of Swords. Somebody could have lied and said you, uh, they had a third, they were, you were in a third party with them, but that's a lie. It's about to come out, or it's already come out. Five of Wands, Ten of Swords. Yeah, bad health. Somebody could have been sick as a child or had some kind of illness as a child here. You may have had a, um, a illness when you were a child and people took advantage of that. So autism is very significant. But it's nothing wrong like with autistic children. Because autism is like a very broad, like it's it's not just one like specific thing. Autistic children are, are actually pretty gifted here. It's the ace of cups. We got occupation here. It's something about nurses, concern, great fortune, message of concern. Oh wait, privileged lady with the house. 2012 is significant. Despair, sudden wealth. Look, listen. What did I say? Didn't I say copycat? I said copycat. Now, when I first saw it, it was the privileged lady with the house. Despair, sudden wealth, privileged lady, false person. Whoever this copycat is, like they're really like down for the count. And this is like, if this is like a masculine, whoever this King of Swords is, 
if they are still in the in the business with the occupation if they're still in the business of trying to like cause some kind of commotion or drama or be in competition they're only like somebody's numb Novocaine They're really only like Just damaging themselves even more Tower Ace of Swords with the Three of Cups Because you you Even if you're not with like Your person or Or anybody Maybe it's you and just like Two other people that are That you really trust Take it how it resonate though this could just be you celebrating you because you see that ain't nobody else going to do it. Even though you'll clap for them, you'll be happy for them. This is like a grown man in a, in a little boy's body. False person. The seven of swords with the three, that's ten. The ten is already out here. Like somebody's intention was to like hurt you, harm you. They despise you. Somebody despises you, yo. Because you don't want to be a false, like, leader or something like that. What's this false person here? Distant Horizons. A false um, somebody's in a false marriage or they're somebody whoever that, that false person with their privileged lady is they've gone berserk realizing that the person that they were with were not who they were pro proclaiming to be false person and here's the privileged lady with the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Whoever that false, whoever the false empress is, the copycat, they just wanted to take this person from you or like your status or your destiny. That shit, like I don't be understanding people. Yeah, thief, sudden wealth, adjudication. Somebody could have already did this shit. And now somebody asking, where's the love? What? I don't know if this is somebody's way, like I said earlier, to get you to feel sorry for them. But they can stay with who they with. Like I said, there is no upgrade after you. And you don't even like exude that energy. Like you just remain who you are. Empress energy. You just you just always get better. And it's like somebody's like 10, 20 steps behind you. We got a message here. Somebody left. Somebody left a note. Journey, mature woman, mature man, high honor, main male. Thoughts, courthouse, family room, coffin. Expectation, thief. 
Be mindful. This could be somebody that knows that you're about to come into something suddenly here. The tower out here too. For some of you, this is a, a reconciliation. Lover's privileged lady. I saw the wealthy man. Here we go right here. It's like motherfuckers really be checking for you and you ain't checking for them. I just saw the thoughts card. Like motherfuckers really got you on their mind. They not manifesting that shit though. <laughs> That's the thing. Because they'll be on some shit like this. Look, I can't make this shit up. Seven of Cups with the devil, the magician, and then the death card. That shit is done. That's done. I don't know what people be thinking they be controlling by doing this shit. Somebody is really using like drugs here. Trying to numb something. Because I mentioned numb. Paralyze. Somebody could um pass from like an overdose. And like I said, if that's if that's the way that somebody is trying to get you to come back to manipulate a situation, they can forget it. <laughs> With the coffin here, they can forget it. Eight of Pentacles with the Tower. You two focused on like hell and 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 working on yourself working on your craft some of you are working on businesses something about colleges three of pentacles here with the ten of wands when somebody signed this contract this this oath or took this oath with the devil here they really like so for some people they sent their life away for others it's not too bad they just gonna have a whole lot of shit that they gonna have to carry here but I mean damn the empress out here if this was people that was that was doing this shit to you if this was women see the last reading it was the emperor And the thing about it is that all of the people that are involved, whether you the empress or the emperor, it's some kind of mutual like knowing like y'all can know everybody. Like, oh shit, oh yeah, I remember such and such from there. And it's like, oh, <laughs> concern. This could also be like different ways that people were saying that you weren't weren't um, around anymore. They could have been saying that you overdosed or they could have been saying you got in a car accident or they could have been saying like, you know, you died from stress or something like that. Somebody did not want you to walk away. This eight of cups flipped out in the reverse. They did not want you to walk away. Somebody did not want you to evolve. Like I said, there is no upgrade after you. Yeah, Eight of Swords. 
Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Judgment. This is somebody's karma. I'm going to have to deal with this type of shit. Somebody could be going to prison for nine years. Just take it how it resonates. Like this is a dark coven of like uh just dark witches. Like this shit crazy, yo. Magician. With the four of cups. <laughs> That's what they manifest. Like no satisfaction. I just heard insatiable. Five of Pentacles. This is what they manifested. See, you fought through all of that. I keep telling you this. It's a group of divine feminines that have gone through this with people that they know with their masculine and vice versa. And all of y'all were able to like still come out on top with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. You were still able to win. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Somebody was like just really wishing. Oh, please let me be the Empress. Please let me be the Empress. If I keep thinking about it, it's going to manifest, right? No. <laughs> you got to love yourself first. Why didn't it work out for me with this Nine of Swords? <laughs> Why didn't it work? Did this person ever really care? This is what I'm talking about. Whether it's the man or the woman. They need to ask themselves, is like, did you even really fucking care? Look at this shit. You remember all the shit you did? Six of Cups, Seven of Swords. You remember everything you did to get to this, to get to this, uh, this position here with the chariot? Like you did all of that and had the real audacity to say or ask, damn, do this person even care? Clearly they don't. Because this two of cups right here, look, with the emperor. <laughs> Ace of wands. This the one. <laughs> you need somebody on your level. Three of cups. And it's going to be a reconciliation. It could be people sending, like, your masculine, like, dreams of um like them being in a in a nostalgia moment like dang I remember when this person you know me and this person would do this and we would do that and that's that's these people that's their way of thinking that something is still going to manifest and all they keep attracting is the king of swords because the king of swords is already out here and I just saw him in the deck Three of Swords, though, at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands. Nine of Wands. The Empress. The Moon. For some of you, you're a Moon Goddess. If people be doing stuff under the Moon, it's like, are you serious? Hang man. <laughs> are you serious? Mm. It's like when once people know like your story, the truth here, like what's the truth? Like they're not they're going to really be looking at people in a different perspective. So it's something that this is something with your purpose here. 
I mentioned this before. It's like you taking like the karmic women and teaching them something about themselves and the same for your masculine or the roles could be switched. Just take it how it resonates. But the three of swords and the five of swords I just saw. That's eight. The eight of swords is out here already. A self-made mental prison. Instead of looking at shit where it's like, you know what? Let me just stop. Let me just give it up. Let me just move the fuck on with my life. No, I want to stay here stuck. But justice is here. Justice is in your favor. Some of you are really about to get married here. If this is dark witches, like a coven of dark witches that was trying to like get you to see what they were doing with your masculine when y'all weren't around, it's like you're past that shit. Because you know the truth. The Ace of Swords is out here. Yeah, it was a shocker, but oh, the truth, you know, the truth is what it is. Okay, you know the truth. You move forward. And you celebrate. <laughs> or this is just you and your partner getting to know each other again. Again. So for some of you, you've already like been with your partner here. Six of Cups is out here. We got the Six of Swords. Understand that if you guys had to be, you know, forced apart or something like that, it was it was for good though. Even though all of this shit not good, but that's the thing about changing your perspective because it's it's really given like damn if motherfuckers really had to go through all of that, say all of that, put all of that on paper just for two motherfuckers not to be with one another. Damn, did they ever care about me? <laughs> These motherfuckers is stupid. Stupid. Back back to the basics, they go. Like I said, for some of you, you could have had like some kind of mental um, issues here. And people took advantage of you. Not even understanding that if you had something that it wasn't even an illness. It was just the way that you thought. You thought it was the right thing to, to love people, to care for people, to help people when they in need. To give them hope. And all these fucking people wanted to do would give you nightmares. And then got a nerd to ask, oh, they don't care about me? No. You don't even care about yourself. Do you care about yourself? Motherfuckers can't even answer that shit though. Because if they say yes, it's like, prove it. <laughs> they can't do that. Not that you would care for them to prove it to you. It's more so of them proving it to themselves. Because you had to prove to yourself that you were worthy of, of love. Worthy of not being heartbroken all the time. Or somebody trying to betray you. Or somebody just lying about stupid ass shit. And for you to still make it without these people. My goodness. Sad day. It's a sad day. Let me get these um these romance angels real quick. <clears throat> I did a, a video a minute ago, a match made in heaven. That's 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 very very significant. That could be for you and your person here. Somebody 
somebody could have been trying to use some kind of control tactic to to keep you around or to keep you interested in them. It's like if you really have to resort to like any type of spell work, any type of domination spell, any type of love spell, like you really you shouldn't even want to be with that person. Real shit. Separation. You shouldn't even want to be with that person. If you can't, if you're not able to keep somebody naturally just by you loving them and you showing them support, like, you know, shit like that, you don't need them. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the darkest fucking box I can reach or find. And I'm going to get my man, or I'm going to get that woman. No, you want to attract the same motherfucking thing that you are. Because like I said, emperor or empress, there is no upgrade after you. So anybody that they deal with, it's a fucking downgrade. It's a downgrade. Unrequited love. True love? Wow. <laughs> you see the difference, right? Unrequited. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. But the true love? This is the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> it ain't with this unrequited love here. You had to learn the difference. Like, like, look at this card. Like, look how he's like, oh, let me kiss your hand. Oh, let me do this. And she's like, yeah, you better. Like, this is not like true love. But look at this card. Look how they all own each other. That's love. Like, just because. <laughs> Whoever this true love is, like, this is really somebody that just will go out. All right, let me go get some flowers. <laughs> Just because it's, it's Thursday. Or just because I felt like the day I'm going to go give my empress a, 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 a necklace. Or, I mean, take it how it resonates. It don't have to be nothing extravagant because it's the thought that counts, right? But what is your intention behind it? So if you had motherfuckers out here like trying to do all this shit to you and then turn around and be like oh well that wasn't my intention why are you going through that because that was your intention because that's what's coming back to you you see motherfuckers wanted you in the nine of swords the nine of wands energy you're in the nine of cups nine of pentacles do you see the difference We got trust at the bottom of the deck. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I, I definitely saw stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah, I mentioned earlier, this is something worth waiting for. Trust that you left the, the right person alone here. Especially if you if if you somebody if you feel like somebody is bored with you, that's unrequited love. That's not true love. And people did not understand or probably did not want to believe that you could feel that energy. Like I said, your cutoff game is strong. Like these motherfuckers really be sitting around like, oh my God, you know they left me. You know they ain't going to come back. I remember when I used to be able to call this person up and they come running. Or they'll let me come in and slide through. They don't get none of that shit no more. Good. Because they don't deserve it. They deserve to be with somebody who does just like them. Five of Wands, Ten of Swords as energy. 
We got a honeymoon. Listen, y'all about to be doing the damn thing out here. You the empress and somebody felt like it was unrequited love for you. It wasn't enough attraction or enough chemistry to keep your relationship going. Now somebody in their motherfucking feelings. <laughs> you gotta laugh at this shit, yo. This shit get real heavy. <laughs> this shit get real heavy. Anything else here? This honeymoon card says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Take it how it resonates. It doesn't even have to like be an actual holiday. It's just going to be like every day is a holiday. Because somebody is with you. Because somebody learned how to have faith. Look, I can't make it up. Reconciliation here. Express your love. That's all you want to do is love and be loved here. And that shit is simple. Motherfuckers make it hard. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Some of you are already in this energy here. Good job. We got passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. <laughs> Very soon. Oh, we. And look, look at them again. <laughs> look at them. Y'all look at this shit. All these cards. Look at that. Y'all see that one. You see that one. You see this one. You see this one. And you see this one. Y'all see this shit right here? This is not true. This is not real. It's like, yeah, you better. No. That's not what true love is. True love is really worth waiting for. Not somebody that's just trying to get back in so they can get some and then bounce again. No, you've come too far. You've healed too much. Somebody dirty as shit wants you to come back so they can so they can fuck up your energy again. No, your cutoff game is strong. They got you fucked up. So guys, that's the end of the message. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.